Laurent de Wouvy and Saint Cyr. First Marquis of Wouvy and Saint Cyr was a French commander in the French Revolutionary and Napoleonic Wars who rose to Marshal of France and Marquis. Early life. He was born Laurent Wouvian in Toul, Mulder A. Moselle, the eldest child of Jean Baptiste Wouvian, a tanner, and his wife Anne Marie Mercier. He adopted the name Saint Cyr after his mother, who had abandoned him at an early age. He went to Rome when he was 18 in order to study painting, but, although he continued his artistic studies after his return to Paris in 1784, he never adopted the profession of a painter. He married Anne Wouvian and had issue, including Laurent Francois, Marquis de Wouvy and Saint Cyr, married in Saint Bowser on 17 August 1847 to Marie Adelaide Batcheson de Montalivet, daughter of Marta Camille Batcheson, Count of Montalivet, and had issue, Revolutionary Wars. In 1792 he was chosen a captain in a volunteer battalion, and served on the staff of General Custine. Promotion rapidly followed, and in the course of two years he became a general of division. He commanded the centre division of Jean-Victor Marie Moreau's army in the Rhine campaign of 1796 aiding in the celebrated retreat from Bavaria to the Rhine. In 1798 he succeeded André Massena in the command of the Army of Italy. In the following year he commanded the left wing of Jean-Baptiste Jordan's army fighting in Germany, when Jordan was succeeded by Massena. He joined the Army of Moro in Italy, where he distinguished himself in face of the great difficulties that followed the defeat of Novi. Moreau disliked Saint Cyr for his sense of righteousness and incorruptibility. Rumours were soon spreading that Saint Cyr was a bad bedfellow. Moreau also accused him of not supporting his brother generals though General Ney and Davout often thanked him for support after battles. When Moreau, in 1800, was appointed to the command of the Army of the Rhine, Wuvi and Saint Cyr was named his principal lieutenant, and on the 9th of May gained a victory over General Cray at Bibrach. He was not, however, on good terms with his commander and retired to France after the first operations of the campaign. In 1801 he was sent to Spain to command the army intended for the invasion of Portugal, and was named Grand Officer of the Legion of Honor. When a treaty of peace was shortly afterwards concluded with Portugal, he succeeded Lucien Bonaparte as ambassador at Madrid. Napoleonic Wars Saint Cyr was a Stoic in an age of pragmatism and glory. His refusal to sign the proclamation of congratulation for declaring the birth of the empire resulted in his name not being included in the first list of Napoleonic marshals, while commanders such as Lannis, Bessieres and Salt who had not had independent command experience were included. For the whole of his life Saint Cyr believed that Napoleon deliberately refused him troops just to disgrace him. In 1803 he was appointed to the command of an army corps in Italy. In 1805 he served with distinction under Massena, and in 1806 he was engaged in the campaign in southern Italy. When he returned to Paris to protest his treatment in Naples, Napoleon sent him back to his post on pain of death. He took part in the 1807 campaigns in Prussia and Poland, and in 1808, in which year he was made a count, he commanded an army corps in Catalonia, but, not wishing to comply with certain orders he received from Paris, he resigned his command and remained in disgrace till 1811. He was still her general de division, having been excluded from the first list of marshals. On the opening of the Russian campaign, Saint Cyr received command of an army corps, and on the 18th of August 1812 won a victory over the Russians at Polotsk, in recognition of which he was made a marshal. The Russians, under Barclay de Tolly, were burning everything as they retreated back towards Moscow, and had just burned nearby Smolensk. It was just prior to the victory at Polosk on the banks of the Dorgava River, however, that Audi note was wounded, and thus Saint Cyr assumed his command. In October 1812 Saint Cyr was driven out of Polosk. 
he received a severe wound in one of the battles during the general retreat. Saint Seer distinguished himself at the Battle of Dresden and in the defense of that place against the Allies after the Battle of Leipzig. Capitulating only on the 11th of November, when Napoleon had retreated to the Rhine. In this year, Saint Cyr's relation with the Emperor warmed as Napoleon commented that Saint Cyr had no match in all of the martial eight and was the equal of Napoleon himself in defense. On the day he received his long overdue baton, he wrote a lengthy letter to his wife, and true to his character, he devoted only one line to his promotion. Last years. On the Bourbon Restoration, he was created a peer of France, and in July 1815 was appointed war minister, but resigned his office in the following November. During this appointment he tried to assist longtime friend and fellow Marshal Ney by providing him a jury of four other Napoleonic marshals, but was disgraced when Marshal Monsey refused to even sit in it. In June 1817 he was appointed Marine Minister a pretext for him to resume the place of War Minister, which he did in September and continued to discharge till November 1819. During this time he initiated many reforms, particularly in respect of measures tending to make the army a national rather than a dynastic force. He made efforts to safeguard the rights of veteran soldiers of the empire, organized the general staff, and revised the code of military law and the pension regulations. He was made a Marquis in 1817. Laurent de Wuvy and Saint Cyr died on 17 March 1830 in Hyers, a town in the southeast of France. In literature, Marshal Saint Cyr is mentioned in Joseph Conrad's short story, The Jewel, as the commander of Almond Dubert after the second and final restoration of Louis XVIII as King of France. Writings, Journal des Operations de l'ARME Acute de Catalogue nr. 1808 a 1809, Memoirs sur les campagnes des ARME Acutes de Rhine et de Rhine et Moselle de 1794 a 1797, Memoirs pour servir de l'histoire militaire sous le directoire, le consulate et le empire.